heard before. Hey, everybody. Uh, you couldn't hear us the first time. Let us know in the chat room if you can hear us this time. Uh, if, if, you, uh, if, if, you, if you didn't catch the opening that we just did because you didn't hear it, uh, we're talking about Game of Thrones tonight. Um, you know, like like we were saying before, if you if you if you got to burn down a town, uh, bring Daenerys, invite Daenerys to the party. She'll uh, she's a, she's a real burner. Um, and as Mike said, uh, what Westeros? Worst Westeros place. Burning Man. She's the uh, Westeros is Burning Man. Yes. <laughs> so. And, and uh, it, it, hopefully everyone says we sound okay. Am I my my also being heard okay? Right, right. I think so. I don't know. We're going to see in a minute. Let's just keep talking. Uh, yep. It should be fine because I, I know what button that I had to push to get the buttony thing working again, so it should be fine. Everybody All right, fine. so. How are you? Yeah. Hold on. By the way, Paul, uh, he always has mic problems. Okay? Paul Ellis joined us, and he, <laughs> he said you have mic problems. I was like, oh, yes. I am a giant itch on his ass. So that's what Let's ignore the missing audio earlier. All right. So before we go any further, can everybody hear everybody? Can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear Mike? So if you're in the chat room. Sound off like you got a pair. Right. Please. Somebody. Make sure Mike can be heard because my thing's not showing Mike on my uh, Hangouts mixer here. Oh. So I don't I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if that's, that's yeah. an issue. Huh? I'm. Mom says Yes. Yup. Paul says yup. All right. A yup okay. is good. Yup it is. Okay. All right. So good. So everybody can hear everybody. It's really weird because my thing's not showing it, but whatever. Um, so so this episode gets a little extra editing on yeah. the front end. Yeah, yes, it does. All right. So anyway, right, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. All right. So so half the people were, were, were less happy. Half the people were pissed off. Um, so, so Mike, what, let's, let's just boil, let's, let, let's just get down to this. Why do you think people? I want to I go right to the heart of this. Like, get this the 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 eighty pound gorilla, 100, 300 pound, three hundred pound, three hundred pound gorilla, eighty pound, three hundred pound gorilla out of the room. Why do you think people are pissed off? Well, um, like not just disappointed, pissed. Oh, you you just want to go straight for the jugular? Okay. Um, yeah. It's a. I personally, I think it's a multifaceted question. I think uh, a lot of the authors and uh, would agree with me. Um, when you have a show that is being authored by a very complex, you know, um, author who's who's just has webs of, of of plot that don't even matter, and and we as fans really are into it, mm -hmm. uh, and then all of a sudden there's like this drop off, <laughs> and the and the writers of the show have to they just have to keep going, <laughs> and and you know what they did their best, and and I'm not saying that they didn't adequately execute you know um uh six and seven you know uh season six and seven uh and i i think that the decision to keep this season this short and the decision to uh not have a ninth season uh was probably to their detriment in a way because they had to force so much uh into the plotting that uh, there was a lot of telling and not not showing not there was no plot um development it was all just well now this has happened and as a result of that now we're here you know um and it it i think it would have sold us a lot better if we had the course of this entire um this entire uh, season to a appreciate Danny's sort of like I, I called it her breaking bad instead of happening in a 15 minutes of an already jam-packed hour you know and a half episode um what are you what are your thoughts that was just one uh, small aspect. well I think I think there there are some there's uh there's something to be said about um Daenerys going uh going psycho period okay I think there there's a facet of, of the fandom a rabid facet of the fandom that saw her as the good guy. Like they, they really, you know, they was just. It was in their mind that she was going to be the the queen of the seven kingdoms, and that yeah. she was like the only person who was really kind of honorable and and you know, like she was setting people free and you know, setting all these you know slaves free, and you know, and and she was 
I don't know, she was kind of in a lot of ways she was sort of a feminist um figure you know like you know here's this this woman who's independent she's powerful uh she's you know seems to be a good role model right and then right in the nuts you know it's like, <laughs> like and it was no warning like no warning shot i mean the i'll take that back the warning shots were i'm going to argue this that the warning shots were always there and she was the person she always was and that's i was not upset one bit i was a little surprised they went direction that direction but i wasn't like i wasn't like oh my god i can't believe it i was just kind of like mm, okay they went that direction with her yeah uh, and and you know it's interesting because you you mentioned and and let's not just let i don't, I don't want to just say feminism um but let, you know we'll just say uh just more of a uh, uh female empowerment um okay, and well, I, I wasn't think saying that in a negative light i was just saying you know there was there I totally get it uh i just wanted to say in this in this respect though with what i'm about to say is that she was the, sort of the embower embodiment of female empowerment mm -hmm. uh and you would you would hope that you know she would have gone along with that and done more of the, the the what we would consider in this day and age the right thing um <laughs> yes. but but she didn't and you know what that was kind no of no not this day and age any day and age come on come on <laughs> call me old fashioned pete but no <laughs> burning the city to the ground it's so attila <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so genghis <laughs> so uh, and I think, you know, a little bit, uh, and I don't know, it would be interesting to see. And does, does, has anyone read any articles? Uh, hi, Tori. Um, and I'm sure that uh, Mr. Scott Pond is watching as well. Have hey, you guys read any articles? Did you say Scott and Tori? Like, as in Scottori? Yes. I don't know. Go ahead, then. The yeah. very one in the same. Right. Uh, I don't know if anyone read any articles about what the... Uh, uh, God, I don't want to say sex. I want to say um, the 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 gender uh, breakdown of who women who liked or didn't like it. That would be interesting right. to see because maybe be. it really was kind of a punch in the tits in a way, if if yeah. you will. Yes. Uh, no, and and I, I I get it. No, I get that. I get that. But you know what? I'll say the silver lining to all that though is that uh, Sansa takes up the role. You know, she has. She, throughout the whole episode, she started out as like sort of like a doormat. Nobody really gave a fuck about her, and they treated her like she was a nobody. Um, and she she suffered some really horrible, like really horrible uh, times. But oh, yeah. she managed to overcome, and she she didn't overcome and become bitter and mean about it. She actually overcame and became a better person, a stronger, better person, and took the better path. She made the right choices. I liked her. I thought, you know, and I didn't like her before. I thought she was just kind of like, eh, at first. Like, I thought she was like milk toast, nothing. And maybe that was the point. But she turned out to be awesome. Pete. What? Did, did she, though? Did yeah. She? What? What are you she, talking about? No. Uh, be, that Why she would you dis... Well, okay. I, I, I think you're, you're right on the on the spot that I'm going to hit on, too, as well. That uh, along with what you, you just said and along with people who say they didn't see it coming uh, and and I didn't see it coming in a way but then when I went back and I really thought about it I said oh my god like all the signs were there even from season two on we that, that she basically has told us she is going to burn King's Landing to the ground she is yeah. going to do this you know uh, she said this to the uh, the Kalisar blood riders she said will you kill my enemies in their iron suits, will you tear down their stone houses outside the city of Karth when she uh, she had her dragons? And she said, when my dragons are grown, I'm going to take back what was stolen from me and destroy those who have wronged me. Yep. Uh, and yep. Uh, I will lay waste to armies and burn yes. cities to, to the, the ground. ground. She did. Even like I said, it was always there. It was always there. Practically burned Meereen to the ground. Yeah. Look, and, she's, and, look, 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 she was, uh, she was a bitch from the beginning. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. But so she was like, oh, I'm going to get my kingdom. What's owed me. You know what I mean? It's all like me, 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 me the whole freaking time. She, she, she took the, um, oh, she, oh, damn it. Now I'm drawing a blank. What are their names? The, the, uh, the, the call, the unsullied. No. Well, before them, the, her riders, her, uh, Oh, fuck's sake. 
Anyway, so the people, Carl Doggo's people. So she takes them. She uses them like a tool, right? She gets the Unsullied. She goes to Marine. She gets the Unsullied. She frees, you know, all the slaves and everything. But does she really free them? Because you serve me now, right? I mean, it, it, it really, it's just like, these were your masters. Now I'm your master. I'm going to be nicer to you. But but is she going to be nicer to them? Was she nicer to the Unsullied than the previous guy? I don't think so. Because she took them into war. She had them fighting on dead like crazy. Just send it, send yeah, send those guys in to fight the dead. Send in the, the riders to fight the dead. Ah, bah. Right? No. Just no, hold on. No. Nope. Did, did they have a choice? Did she real? Did she free anyone? Did she ever really free anyone? She who? said anyone who wanted to go could go. And at one point, most of the Dothraki had left, remember? Dothraki, and that's the word. But, uh, okay, All right, fair enough. Maybe I forgot about that. I'm, I can't, I don't remember it, but maybe I forgot. That's fine. And, but And, uh, you know, hey, uh, uh, the last episode, you know, uh, when uh, Hitler was talking to his army, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that they felt like they didn't have a choice. You know, they were pretty pumped, yeah. you know, right, and uh, right. yeah, they're pretty pumped. <laughs> you yeah, know? Sure. You know what I'm sure, sure. I know what you're saying. So then, all right, look, and then we get these dragons, right? So she has, she has these three eggs. They hatch. These are these rare things. They're extinct except for these three, right? Does she, and she calls them her children, her babies, right? Does she treat yeah. them special? Does she, does she yeah. like make sure that they're okay? No. She uses them as weapons of mass destruction. She literally rides the last three dragons in existence into combat several times, right? All Fuck of the it. dragons were ridden for that, for combat. What? And Doesn't matter. I'm weapon. telling you, she. It's, it's a pattern. I'm establishing a pattern here. So the pattern that, is... I'm, I will give you that. So then she meets up with Jon Snow, right? I'm in love with you. He's not really in love with him. You know why? Finds out that he could be, that he might be the heir to the throne. Shh, you can't talk about it. Be quiet. No, it's me. I'm me, 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 me. When people are in love, it's not me, me, me. She would actually talk to him, get his feelings, see where he stood. It would be a, it would be a thing that they would do, that they would share this knowledge. They would figure out how to, what do we do now? Not what do we do now. It was me, 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 me. And then what's what was taken from me and what's my right, you know? Dude, she was narcissistic, and then when 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 her narcissism wasn't fed, she flipped out and she burned the city to the ground. I'm telling you, man, it was always there, always there. A little bit of it was was always there. I think she was also a little slave to uh, her family traits. Yeah, you know. That's fair. Um, well, hey, that's fair. Maybe that's the way she was raised. Maybe it's in the yeah. genes. You know, and and I'm I'm not look. I'm not saying. That she didn't come by it honestly. Dude, she had a shit life, man. Her entire race of people were destroyed, right? Her brother marries her off to this guy who rapes her, who's then killed. You know, I mean, like, dude, she had it rough, and I almost don't blame her. And I just probably wouldn't have burned the city to the ground. I probably would have just burned the Red Keep to the ground, and then everything would have been cool. So evidently, Scott's into butt dimples. Just but, throw that. Butt dimples. Yes. What? What? Yeah, on butt dimples. Okay. That John said so. Uh, you know. Oh. Just uh, that was that was a little bit of a derailment there, buddy. Thanks. Butt dimples. Uh, Wait a minute. Who's butt dimples? I. Uh, uh, she. He said she was in love with his fine booty, butt damn butt dimples. I think we know who. Well, Jon Snow did have, I mean, he had a nice backside. I mean, yeah. you know, not like a girl's butt, but also not like mine, you know, because like mine is like two legs that stick into my back. Uh, <laughs> you know, he actually has an ass. Um, there is something in between there to which right. he there's a knits. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But, and yeah, and, and I don't know. So, so the whole Daenerys thing, I'm totally fine with it. I, it would have been cool if it didn't go that way, but it didn't. It did. Um, and, you know, the writers were saying for, for like the last, at least the last year, they were saying, you you don't think it's going to have a happy ending, do you? Right. right. They, they came out and said that. Like, it was not like like a secret. Like, it was, you know, it was going to be a rough ending. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
So we've established it, and we both agree, and it sounds like it's a consensus that uh, John has some bad, damn fine butt dimples. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, Daener- we, we could see this coming. Uh, we, we knew this was going to come. Uh, rides him into the ground. What is that, Paul? I don't know. I don't know what that was about. All right, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, as far as how... Hal- okay. I'm going to ask myself this question first. I'm going to answer it first. Okay. Uh, I am truly split down the middle. Uh, I can't decide whether I am uh, like I'm all in or I'm, you know, or even like I'm really good f- with how everything went. And I can't decide if I'm just, uh, I'm a little disappointed. Like, I think I'm a little disappointed, but uh, again, it's like, I'm not happy, but I can't say that it couldn't have gone much differently. Yeah. I mean, have. like, like, like I, I ask myself, okay, what would you have happened? You know, Daenerys certainly wouldn't have been ruling. Got that. Jon Snow, uh, could he have become king? I don't know. I mean, now come on, dude. Didn't... He's a, he's a pussy. He needed to go back up north. He's such a, ugh. Oh, no. oh well, it's, it's like his balls dropped when he shoved a blade into Daenerys' heart. No, come on. I mean, He's so easily manipulated. He would be dead in a year. Easy. <laughs> oh, oh, name one way he was manipulated in this season alone. Name one, name two, three things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he'd be I, dead. I, Come on, he'd be I, fucking dead in a year if he lasted that long. Come on. He'd be a horrible ruler. No, he's a good oh. guy. No, he's like, all right, so he's like that leader who's like, you want them to be the leader, but they can't be because they don't have enough. Bo- like, they're too nice. Like, he's too nice. He's too honest. He's too nice. Like, you and me, if you and me were put into one person, we probably would make an ultimate leader. But apart, uh, we both would be stabbing each other to keep the uh, other one yeah. from I, ruining I, their- Yeah. Yeah. And somebody said, you know, people say, you know, well, he didn't want to be the leader. That's what made him the best candidate. No, no. That's like utopian thinking. That's horse shit. Yeah. yeah yes. If someone who's who's way over aggressive about wanting to be a leader, they're probably not great because they're, they're a little too ambitious. But you can't have somebody who's like, no, no, I couldn't possibly want to be the leader. You know, it's like, no, you, you have to have a little bit of that or else, you know, especially in, in, in those times and in that world, you'll get knifed in the, you know, you're done. I mean, look, he was, he was, he was leader of the Night's Watch for how long before they fucking killed him? Uh, like a week? <laughs> One no. episode? No. How many episodes was, was he the leader? He was the leader for couple weeks he went out out on a mission and came back that's when he brought the wildlings back that's what tipped the whole thing okay right exactly there you go all right so let me ask you this though because i did watch this part just before the show uh i watched because i had to rethink this i didn't like it at first but i actually have to change my mind on uh Tyrion's uh convincing um john to do what he did I, I have to say that I think that the writing had some callbacks and some good convincing. Uh, and, and I'm going to go on record as to say that Ooh. I support how he did, you know, how he said, you know, his his argument to it. Oh, what happened? No, go, ahead, go, 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 go. I'll come back to it. OK, because uh, like when they started out with the whole love is the death of duty um, and then duty is the death, death of, love, of love. Yep. And, and you know, choose Danny. Uh, you know, and basically he was like, listen, <laughs> whether you like it or not, you're going to have to choose between Danny or your sisters because they will not. Neither yeah. one of them is going to bend a knee. Nope. You know? So and they would probably die and or whatever. Uh, right. So, you know, that was and, and then. Um, Dude, at he, that point, at, at that point, it was John, you either kill her or Arya is going to kill her. It's like it's like, you or Arya. So you can choose. But but it was about time that you know Tyrion had some like good dialogue that was mm-hmm. like convincing and intelligent because he oh, had, yeah they have missed they have lack. underused him the last two yeah. three seasons yeah so when he said you are the shield that guards the realm of men you know uh, I just think that you know like wow that's like kind of putting it on your shoulders again because he does seem to act whether it's manipulated or not <laughs> mm-hmm. when 
he feels like there's a lot on his shoulders, which it was. It was uh, significant, so I'll have to give him that. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so all right, so Paul Ellis is in the room. Hey, Paul. Uh, he has, yeah, I think this is, uh, he hasn't joined us too often. This is great. I'm, I'm glad he's here. So he says, how about Danny kills John, Arya kills Danny, Sansa and Tyrion take the Iron Throne? What was I saying before the, the final episode? I said what I thought would be awesome is if Sansa and Tyrion led the Empire. So me and Paul are in lockstep. All right, all right. You want to know what I I knew wasn't going to happen, but you you know what I fucking really wanted to happen so bad. What's that? I wanted a total Reservoir Dogs ending. Oh shit! Yeah, everybody killing each other, <laughs> really <laughs> kill each other, and some smarmy piece of shit just keeps on going. <laughs> right, like like they're all fighting and shit, right? And, and and like the whole thing's going on, and the dragon just boof smokes them all and flies off, right? And then they're like. <laughs> person that was hiding under the table <laughs> right right which would be like i don't know um gendry right or gandry what's his name yeah gandry no he's not smarmy no 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 well, no no not on the smarmy part but like he'd be like the like or, oh no no he would be better is that like goofy son of the queen that was that was killed what's his <laughs> name oh, i can't remember his name uh, oh you mean uh uh, uh hold aaron up. john no something aaron right oh I don't know. not john aaron no. Uh, I was thinking of uh, Edmir Tully. Okay. He was like oh. sick. <laughs> he was smart and dumb enough to, you know what I mean? <laughs> or who's the heavy set guy? What's his name? Um, oh, uh, 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 God damn it. That's, you're, you're talking about. Uh, the guy became the Grand, grand Maester. Grand, yeah. Yeah. I see him. Okay, I'm gonna be your leader now. Oh, th <laughs> that, that, that scene where he's like, he's like, well, maybe we should let the people vote, and they all start laughing at him. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, maybe my horse will get a vote. <laughs> That's okay. Funny. So, so, uh, tell me if you agree with this or not, because I sort of saw this as as kind of a a wishy washy thing that uh, could. That if if somebody were to to make an argument, every single person sort of had a brief moment of possibility and or like kind of could win. Like if you were rooting for your person, they won in a way. OK, so like mm -hmm. Danny got the throne for a few days and maybe she never sat on it, but there was definitely some rubbing. And oh, um, right, yeah. <laughs> and and then John kills her. And then yeah, technically and he could if he did it right, you know, he could have been king and he right. had the right to be. Uh, but then, you know, if you were rooting for Sansa, Sansa, Queen of the North, right? Queen of the North. So you got that. Now, then you also have, if you wanted a republic, uh, something more democratic, you kind of got that. And yes, you had uh, Samwell sort of just saying that, you know, every, <laughs> getting a, a U.S. democracy. But it kind of feels like they did. Uh, and it sort of was a la War of the Roses, Magna Carta kind of like a, a un you know well we're gonna we will the you know I, I, actually it's more like a roman you know senate sort of a thing like we will yeah, pick the kind of yeah 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 it was kind of like that yeah i mean at, at least it it was touching on that yeah i got you it's still the elites electing who who's gonna lead from the from the elites it's still not the people people have shit to do with it the people are sheep they don't they're well, so dumb on an educational system, right. you know what I mean? Right. Like now, read most of them. Yeah. <laughs> God, losers. <No. laughs> All right. Okay. Is there anything else we want to talk about before we start talking about some other stuff? Or are we? I mean, this. I mean, I don't want to pontificate pontificate too much on Game of Thrones. Brand. Brand. Oh. Well, call him Branch. I, <laughs> Branch. The thing that I'm kind of like. I guess it's okay, but you just I all right. It's almost like it was a retcon. I think they were sort of like Bran is gonna at some point in you know season five six he's just gonna have something to do and then he'll just go off into nothingness. And then they were like, well, shit, uh, we need to bring him back in as a as a major ender. And I don't I don't know if I really like it, but yeah. again. Who who would have made the the? I don't. All right, okay. F forget that. The burning of the Iron Throne, though. 
epic. I that was loved good. It. Yeah, that was good. That was cool. That was good. Uh, although I do have to ask, uh, Dragon's or Drogon's uh, deep sense of metaphor. I I was really kind of questioning that. Like you know, <laughs> was it that Drogon was uh, uh, really aware of what was going on, or was it kind of like? I can't kill you, and I'm just gonna yell really loud, and it happens to be at the throne. What? You no. Know, what? No. I think I, I don't think he knew anything about the throne. I think he was just letting off steam because I mean he can't, you know, be, because John's a Targaryen and he can't act against him just like he couldn't act against Danny. He just wanted, you know, let. Uh, pardon the the dead joke. He wanted to let off a little steam, uh, <laughs> and the throne just happened to be in the way, and I I don't think. Okay. I don't think he knew. I don't know, but they, the, the dragons are pretty smart, and it's almost like they can read minds. You know what I mean? Like, it seemed I'm like in. it. Like, when she died, he knew right away and flew up. So, yeah. fuck, I don't know. But I, it's a world full of magic, so, you know, yeah. okay, that's fine. I, you know, I, I can buy that. Uh, I just I just would like to know. Oh, that was another one of my problems, getting back to the beginning of your question. You said, you know, basically, uh, uh what was Sorry. good or, or bad but what what no they're just they're talking about vader and brand oh, needs okay. a spine like he needs a vader and uh, it's funny. <laughs> uh you know there was there were a lot of things that were just sort of unanswered a lot of things like magic uh, you know like uh one of the big questions i had like lingering still and i'm not i wouldn't say that we're sort of pontificating or whatever but i think it's like you know uh where, where, where was that uh i think i wrote that on the on the main doc i had what i had said was what i said was uh, something to the effect of and if you find it, something re- magic something <laughs> <laughs> no 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 and you know it, with this where you know like what what was the will of the gods you know if there really was or not you're like what this is supposedly a world it seems to me this wasn't ultimately a world that was with you know an ambivalent god this there were there were things going into motion oh i i think there, no i think there were multiple gods but i don't think they were gods like in the sense of creating the world god i think there was a lord of light i think there was uh the the undrowned god you know i, I think but i think they were they would play the role of um i think more like demons or like um you know like like that level or, or like or like i don't know uh, yeah whatever they have more yeah. power than men yeah 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 yeah. And absolutely so their influence so now what is their influence after this well, I, think, was- I think the lord of light just wanted to defeat the white walkers i think he wanted to to have them done because they represent i think they represented everything that was that was that was night and cold and it seemed like his powers went directly against them like if they had a flaming sword they could kill the undead and all that easily um so i think unless and i think his- Dothraki. what's that <laughs> unless you're a dothraki unless you're a dothraki right um but I think, you know, the undrowned God was just like a, just a, uh, so the sea is always mixed with chaos, right? The, in, in ancient times, the, the, you know, cause if you look out into the void and the chaos, it's always, it has to do with the sea. Um, and the undrowned God was kind of like that. And if you look at, uh, what's his face, uh, Urian, 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 I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, but he was, Urian. was it? urine no. urine yeah he was i mean he kind of embraced that chaos and he had that undrowned god and i think that's where a lot of his i think he drew power from that i think, I think a lot of these characters drew power from these supernatural beings i mean john was brought back by the lord of light and I, you know fuck i don't know dude I, I think it's left ambiguous on purpose so that um so that you don't get wrapped around you know the you don't get wrapped around the gods too much because the gods are just there to kind of like nudge things like they don't you know what I mean? Like I don't think they take like active roles. Like the like the Lord of Light isn't going to step into battle and do battle, but he you know he'll nudge by by having agents that can do things. I think that's what George R. R. Martin was doing. I, I don't know. I haven't read the books. I'm sorry, to sound like Chris Walken. I, I I haven't read the books. I, I don't know. You know, but it could have been a god. All right. Um, I don't know how much more you wanted to talk. Uh, you you see my list of people who were still alive or not? Yeah. Oh, forget about Let's it. All right. Well, that. anyone? I got it from the Time Magazine site. They missed a few people, but all in all, including old good old Uncle um, Benjamin Stark. 
Yeah, people are experiencing the the uh, YouTube's being an asshole is basically what's up. Yeah, I'm not getting any dropped frames. So it's not on my broadcast. Yeah. I don't think. I don't know. Hey folks, if you get I, I don't know what's going on cuz I'm getting it too. I'm looking at it and I'm getting it too. Um and me too. So, uh I had about 25 people from every single character and I, I should have counted. I wish I had this fact for you, but about 25 survived the entire. If you go and look up one of those ma big character maps, uh, y you'll see it. You know what I mean? And you'll be able to see who who's still alive. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I think, you know, so uh, if anybody sees this and they, they there was buffering and you go back and you watch it later and this is what people are talking about. Uh, I know Google has been having some major fucking issues uh, in the last couple of days, I was kind of worried about tonight's stream worrying about because Google was like down like last night or something. So maybe they're still experiencing some issues. But anyway, we're going to keep going. If this is bugging you, stop watching it. Roll it back about 10 minutes and then start watching it and you'll catch all the buffer. You'll be fine. Wait a minute. Google's down. That's like the Internet's down. I, I know. I know. People were talking about it. All right. So look, what do you want to talk about now, Mike? Um, was there any, uh, any other last little bits? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, you have, right, let's do this real quick. Would you consider reading the books? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Audio books. It's, they're really long. So maybe, um, yeah. are there any more children in the forest? Fuck no, they're all dead. Um, uh, tangible. If you oh, we talked about the gods. Okay. That's it. There's your questions. <laughs> well, uh, so, all right. Well, what, what did you find most egregious about the whole the whole series um all right so nothing really i liked it i mean the series as a whole i think is just fucking phenomenal television i i really loved it um i i think there were times where right but what do, what do you have to criticize criticize not a whole lot man i thought it was awesome i really did i thought I, again the, the last season moved kind of fast i think it was you know they could have they should have split that up over two seasons, yeah. I think. I think they went too crazy with, with the production value. I, th I don't know. I mean, shoot twice as many episodes in half the amount of time. You know, like, like don't spend as much money on all those battles. Like, that, that whole episode that was a, was an entire battle, was too much. You get battle fatigue. I was getting to the point where I'm just like, I don't really care. Please, somebody kill somebody. Be done with it, you know? Like, I'm 30 yeah. minutes into this battle. I'm like, fuck, please stop fighting, you know? Okay. Um, For me, again, but all I'll say is I wanted more uh, plot, more information, uh, more payoff for the uh, the uh, what do you call it? the Dark Knight or whatever his name is. The whatever the, what, the Witch King, the the Night King, yeah, the Night King. You know, I wanted more like I, I wanted some a little bit of origin story, uh, not just somebody shoved some dragon glass in there like the 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 children of the forest did that and then it, like i nothing ever made sense to me they did it to protect themselves from the from the men but then they became enemies with the yeah the king as yeah, well because you're not supposed to fuck with dark magic like that that's the message don't mess with that shit it's bad for you oh all magic comes with a price yes exactly <laughs> Okay. I would have liked to know a little bit more about this whole three-eyed raven bullshit and the fact that, you know, he goes to the future. Like, they did that whole thing where he went to the future, right? And the Night King touched him and he had the mark on him and all that shit. And then they never did anything with that again. And, like, as a matter of fact, they did nothing with his warging again. Except for the fact that he's sitting there with his eyes rolled back and you know he's doing it. Yeah. But who cares? Because there was no, like, right. what what was he warging? Why should anyone care? Was he just right. watching I, the battle from whatever? I I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Maybe he was trying to lure the Dark Knight or the Night King hey, in. Maybe. I just realized there was one super happy ending. One super happy ending. <laughs> what kind of happy ending are you? No, 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 no. Stop. Oh, oh. No, no. <laughs> Ghost got his boy back. You know, John finally came home and stopped running around and all that bullshit. And he finally got with his dog. And took his dog with him. Right? I mean, the dog had to lose an ear to get his boy to, like, you know, stay with him and all. But, like, maybe John would go up to the north, cuddle up with his dog every night to keep him warm. I think the dragon comes back and is all, like, all, like, uh, moping. I don't have anyone. 
<laughs> Goth dragon. Red. <laughs> no, I actually I heard that was it in the, in the end of the series, and they say it went, it went east or something. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. I, I I still love Arya's ending. Uh, going off really? Just, yeah, yeah. I was really? all about. I that. I thought it was kind of weird. Like, what the fuck is she going? What, like, what is she Magellan now? Like, that's not her character. I, I, whatever. I think it is. She's an adventurer. What are you talking about? This not her character. It's not her character. She is a total adventurer. She okay, is but adventurer. Really the, 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 the adventurer has a lot of meanings. She's not an explorer, and that's what she's doing. She is a the quintessential role player. No. Now she's playing seventh C. All right. No. Shut the no. No. That, <laughs> no. I would have seen like uh, the other Greyjoy. The the the. Uh, what's his yeah. name? What's his name? Sister. I see her going. Or maybe if she went and Arya joined her, then I'd be like, oh, okay. All right, I'm down with that. But for Arya, like, I'm now a sea captain and I'm going to go discover what's in the way. Like, come on, you ain't, you ain't, you've never even been on a fucking boat. You kidding me? She has been on a boat. What are you talking about? Okay, she's been on a rowboat or something. I don't know. She's never been, like, on a ship. When was she on a ship? She, she sailed to Bravos and back. Okay, so she took a little trip across the water. And it gave her a taste of the sea life. Ah, pff, I'm not buying it. Not buying it. Well, you're not buying it. I bought it. End of, di end of story. <laughs> end. <laughs> Let's compromise. You're wrong. Okay, next. <laughs> but then we'd both be wrong. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. Um, all right. So, let, let, dude, let's talk about some other stuff. We, we okay. want to wrap up. It's 941. All right. Uh... What, what are we going to do first? You want to do the game or do you want to do a, a talk about the movie draft minute? Uh, why don't you knock out the movie draft minute? Okay. Well, I mean, I I just posted the one from the last two weeks. Uh, I can read what I wrote if. Uh, okay. So you guys who only watch the video, well, thank you. Um, but if you uh, ever want to catch any shows you haven't seen, even if you just download the show and give us a download and you literally go all the way to the end and listen to my movie draft minute wrap up. Um, I'm going to read it live right now for you. Okay. Even though there's, there's music in the background um, for, for the other ones. You want you mean to do that? Yeah, go ahead and read it. Okay. I said, <clears throat> I go, this is the Mythwits 2019 summer movie draft minute. I'm your host, Michael Kafis of the Mythwits. Here are your standings as of Friday, May the 31st, 2019. And if you're that one person out there keeping track, yes, we combined weeks eight and nine due to Balticon, which rocked. Violet Lavoie is in fifth place with $50 million. Scott Sigler pounces back to fourth place with $167 million. Time will tell whether those last-minute Dark Phoenix reshoots were worth it. Queen of the North! I really couldn't tell. Uh, I really couldn't tell you what I rubbed to get Aladdin to break $150 million last week. However, I am now in third place with $301 million. Ladies and gentlemen, in an unprecedented leap into second place, it's the director of Doom, A. Kovacs, with $324 million. Thanks to John Wick and Detective Pikachu. Peter Bryant is strangling first place with $830 million. And if you think that kid won't break a billion with his slate, you're crazy. But hey, Mike. We'll just wait and see. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, like that. Hey, I got my points just like that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, and if you download this episode you will have the one that i will tie into the audio episode at the end of it All so right. so you get two and or get a two for down you know go go to our podcast feed even if you go because you know we all do it you know just download the podcast get it get on our feed and then go eh, i don't care about that one you know or let me just go to the end and hear the movie draft minute or let me hear what these clowns say in the in the beginning but you know give us a download Throw a brother a download bone. You know what's crazy? This is the first time that I've been in the draft that I had something that happened early in the draft. Usually I'm way on the motherfucking end. And I'm like, and people are making fun of me. Oh, look at you, $3, right? And next thing you know, wrong, and I get some points, right? Even the yeah. year I won, I came in like halfway through. Um, it's the first time I was able to ride this 
some bitch high from the early days, and it feels good. Feels good, Mike. Hey, you don't see me trying to make any stupid ass bets with you, do you? <laughs> Not this time. Hey, look, I've only got one more movie, right? I got Toy Story. It's gonna hit in about three weeks. What? I was looking at your guys. Listen, I was looking at your guys' numbers. Yeah. Mike, you got some good contenders coming up. You could make some cash. I don't know if you're gonna beat me, but I, you you might be able to take first place for like a minute. So I I, I don't know uh, because uh, I have Godzilla coming out mm -hmm. uh, in uh, let's see at the actually it's out it's out mm -hmm. this week. Uh, yep. Shaft is out in the middle of this month, which you ain't gonna make shit off Shaft. And Child's Play. So I got Godzilla. Oh, it's I have... not you. Who is it that's got the good fucking movies? Oh, uh, Scott has Dark Phoenix. Yeah. And then and, what? And, uh, Men in Black. Yeah. And then Spider-Man Far From Home. So yeah, he's see, got... he's, he could catch up. He's the one I was thinking about. He could catch up. I would like the record to reflect that I was supposed to get Spider-Man Far From Home. I had the points. I had the drag, the, 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 the fucking quaaludes, and I blew it. When I was trying to do the uh, the voting, so go back and watch that episode and see me get all pissy at the end of the draft. Like, go <laughs> two all movies right. like this. All right, so we got a game, but real quick, are you done with the? Are we done with the movie? We're done with the movie draft. I just want to throw a big fucking shout out to Balticon. This was a great year. We had a great, uh, I don't know, great three episodes, three live episodes we did. You're gonna hear one next week, the week after, and the week after. So um, we. We're technically on break, but we're using our back our back end footage uh, that we did from Balticon, and uh, we're gonna do instead of it like just me playing it live and in in the chat room, which is almost gonna be the same. We're gonna do a what's that called? Just a watch group watch? Yeah, uh, uh, uh shit. Um, it's a watch party. Watch party. So yep. we'll do a watch party. Uh, Pete has. There's no pressure for him to show up. Because this is his break, and I respect it. I don't say he's a pussy for not showing up. Or, I got all this or, shit to do, man. God damn it. I just said I don't but say. Mike will be there. Let's see for not showing up. Oh, no, I know. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. I hear what you're doing there. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, but for real, we'll still, we'll have fun. Uh, I can't wait, honestly, uh, to relive it because there was there were, uh, God, you know, to be honest with you, I mean, the reading was good. The reading was good, and uh, the uh, the wing challenge was just, I think, fucking phenomenal, unbelievably well. Mm -hmm. uh, That's the best. If you, if you at Balticon and you missed it, please watch watch this. You're gonna love it. Also, uh, God damn, the talk on the space food, I think, was fin fucking nominal. Phenomenal, like, absolutely. That was amazing. Yes. Look, look, like, we can that go. Was... We can go into the gutter. We're, we're, we are like the perfect woman. You know, we are a freak in the sheets and a right. lady, you know? Yes. Or man. I mean, you know, so you get, you know. It's, yes, you're right. You're, I sure. apologize. So, so no, no. All right, so, look, I'm going to say this. If you're a podcast listener, like you only listen to this show as a podcast, we love you. Awesome. Keep doing it. Whatever. Not next week. Right, because next week we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the wings first. We're gonna jump the the recording to the wings. Right, that was gonna be our next one. If you would like to do that, I'm I, I, okay. That's fine. So next week, you can listen to it. That's fine, but you're robbing yourself if you don't watch it. If you only listen to this show, you, you gotta you don't have to watch it live. Watch it on your own time or whatever. But that is a visual episode. That if if any if there was ever a visual episode, that is a visual episode. You got to see the pain. That the the four of us went through, it is it's funny. <laughs> I still I still like I can't. I mean, it was real. I've seen it on the other shows, but it was real. Like when when, when you're like trying to get over the bomb, and somebody else is talking, and you're just like, are they still fucking talking? Yeah. Are they? Are they still, oh my god! Stop. You're killing me. Right. And I'm like, I, I remember there was a point where I was sitting there. I'm just like, I'm just like, I was like, I was like doing the thing where I was clearing because my ears were clogging up, you know, like I was on a plane. I'm like, I'm like, why are my ears clogging? Right. And I'm not making a joke. I really couldn't. I, I was like, I couldn't hear anything because my ears were like, I don't know. They were, they were filling up with pressure and I had to clear them out because I, I was like, I was like, I can't, I can't hear anything. And then, um, and I had heat coming out of my nose. Like, like 
like I was breathing fire out of my nose. I think it was just because my sinuses were running and they were running like hot sauce onto my lip. And then there was this coating I had of mucus milk in my throat. Yeah. But occasionally that would break. And then whatever, whatever pieces of glib glob was, was still stuck in my throat was just like, <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, gosh. Uh. Yeah. And, and the hottest wing wasn't the hottest wing, right? The the yeah. number it's four was hotter than five, I think. Number four was was it was like eating like I, I equated it to eating dirty pennies on fire. It's about yeah. what it tasted like. Yeah, sure. That came out of somebody's asshole. Right. That sauce is the worst. I don't know how they can still sell that. I don't know how anyone buys the bomb. It is horrible. It's not just hot. It's fucking tastes like garbage. It's terrible. Yeah, it does. I don't know because it's an extract. I don't know that if you that whole point of eating an extract. Now, Hellfire, I was training with the Hellfire, the one in between the bomb and um yeah. the, the last dab. That was hot too. That was that was pretty hot. So I think what if if we uh, end up doing this again, Scott Sigler, yeah. uh, get rid of the bomb. I'm not doing that again. Fuck that. I'm no, not doing no, it again. You have to. Do you have to. No, I don't. I don't have to. It's garbage. Let's I'm not eating that again. Scott got sick. Violet got sick. Right. I got sick. And we uh, all you, think it was the bomb. Uh, listen, listen, Violet's husband tried the bomb. It's the only one he tried and he got sick. I'm not eating that shit again. God, I'm not eating you... it again. I'm not eating it again. I'm not doing it. Give me a different hot sauce. I'm not eating that garbage. All right. How about the bomb? There's the makers of the bomb make one even worse than that. No, I'm not. No. No, I'm not eating the bomb again. I'm not doing it. It's garbage. It's so it's so bad. It's so bad. Right. Dude, I was sick all fucking day the next day. Really? So was Scott. So was Violet's husband, and that's the only one he ate, and he got sick. What can I tell you? It's not about the heat. It's about whatever the fuck is in it. Oh. You know, so, I'm oh, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Skip that shit. All right. Anyway, thanks for coming, everybody. everybody. Someone recommend we we have to put it to a vote or something over this next uh, six months. We'll have to we'll have to find a replacement for the bomb because yes. you know hashtag pussies. And, no, it's not uh, about pussies. It just it tastes like garbage. Like if I said, "Hey, Mike, I'm gonna bring some garbage to the table, and you're a pussy if you don't eat it." Would you eat it? No, you wouldn't because it's fucking garbage. The bomb is garbage. It's not about the heat. It's not the heat. The heat was no big deal. I can handle that. You've convinced me with your wonderful non sequitur. Now, let's move on to a game. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. So this is going to be a game. Here we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Game time, Mythwits. I'm your host, Peter Bryant. Mike is going to play a game against himself. Mike, this is going to be you playing against you in the future you, whatever the fuck description you had that one time that didn't make any goddamn sense and nobody understood. But <laughs> so we're going to play. What's that? How many questions are there? There are 12 questions. We don't have to do them all. Um, it's This game is Who Killed? It's, it's called Who Killed Who? Game of Thrones. So what I'm going to do is I am going to name someone who was killed, and you got to tell me who killed them. I'm you get it right, you get a point. Then. If not, you get a zero. Okay. All right. I, I, got, I got I got I got eight on my scoreboard. We'll do eight. How's that? Okay. I feel good about this. I'm gonna at least do four, probably six. All right. So here's the deal. This you can't. They're not. There's no like inferred deaths. Okay. So there's none of this. Um, it, it's about who actually pulled the trigger. Not about who convinced them to do it or who set things in motion for them to do it. It's okay. who actually did the killing. Right. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. So yeah. So if Littlefinger sets somebody up to do the killing, no, it's who did the killing. Okay. So here we go. Now, now are you going to accept an answer if there's two people? Never mind. Never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Viserys Targaryen. Shit. Viserys. 
Targaryen was killed by ah shit. I don't know if it's Robert Baratheon or if it is. Do you know who Viserys Targaryen is? Uh, he wasn't the um, he wasn't the Mad King. No, that was the one before the Mad King. Bef nope. No, no, he was the brother of the Mad King. Nope. Family. He's Daenerys' brother. Right, the other brother. Uh, I, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna say it was uh, it was uh, Eddard Stark. Eddard Stark. Okay, Mike. Did you hear that? By the way, I just want to make sure you heard. Did you hear that? I, I did not. I apologize. I did not hear that. I didn't hear that. Uh, ding ding ding. Right. That that. You're right, Mike. Wait a minute. Really? <laughs> Okay, well then fuck the sound effects. I ain't got time to troubleshoot it. Nope, that was wrong. It was Carl Drogo. Remember he poured, he said, you want your crown? And he poured the molting stuff. I, okay, see, I thought that, that I, I was going with the, uh, there was there was another brother, and I thought that that's who that was. Ah, uh, okay. That's why I, I tried to give you a hint. I tried well, to I give thought you a hint. That was like, that, that's like a... a yeah, here, have a red herring. It's leading down this path. No, the, the names are the names. There's no tricks. No tricks. I'm, I'm trying to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible. No tricks. Next, next. Okay. Joffrey Baratheon. God damn you. I, this is why I said that who, what it, it was, because uh, you want to know, like, who pulled the trigger, even if they didn't know they were pulling a trigger. So no, this person knew they were pulling a fucking trigger. Well, then I'm assuming then you're going to say that it was the, uh, Oh Jesus. Why can't I think of her name? She's the, uh, high garden, the lady of high garden. Uh, it, I don't even get a, uh, I don't, uh, All right, I'll give you her name is really crazy. Who is she in the show? She's the Lady of Highgarden, but give me a relationship somewhere. Oh, uh, uh, she, she was the the old lady, and uh, she was bested the, by uh, the mother of the mother of the the chick who married. Uh, <laughs> whose both. name was? Give me somebody's fucking name. Come on, uh, uh, Arya Stark. That's a name. <laughs> Come on, I. You know, I'm gonna I, give you, I'm gonna I, give you a fucking bone on this one. I, I'm I'm gonna give this one to you. If I can guess, if I can tell you who exactly she is, I got you. I got you. All right, fine. I'm I'm giving you the point. For, I'm giving you the point. Shut up. <laughs> Olena Tyrell. Yes, the old lady that was Marjorie's mother. Marjorie. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Uh, let's Kinda skip that weird. one. We'll go to this one. Pitiful. Oberyn Martell. Oh. Uh, Oberyn, that would be uh, the mountain. That is Toast correct. His, busted a cap in his eyes. Yeah, yeah. Um, busted yeah. a cap, which was his head. All right, now yeah. this was going to be tough. So you don't need to know this person's name if you can just describe them to me. Okay? Yes. Ygritte. Yes. Who killed Ygritte? Oh, you know what's fun? Uh, uh, so... He was the steward of uh, Jon Snow, who also happened to put the last blow into Jon Snow. <laughs> um, All right. Yes. Ollie was his name. Ollie. I would have gotten 15, 20 minutes. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, let's see. We've got four of these left. Who I want to do. Okay. Oh, here we go. How about this one? Uh. Stanith Baratheon. Stanith? Is that, is that really how they, they say it? It's, it's... Stanith. Stanith Baratheon. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, no, that would be uh, Brianna of Tarth. That is and correct. I, and I got the name right, too. <laughs> you did. You did. She chopped his fucking head off. All right. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Um, I, like, 
more. Give me more. Give me more. Okay. Let's just fire these bitches. Who killed the three eyed raven? Oh, dear. Uh, oh, the Night King. Correct. Correct, Amundo. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Well, we're so down with the uh, Game of Thrones allure. Okay. I'll take one of two answers for this. I'll take one of two answers. Okay. Who killed Ramsey Bolton? Stannis. Well, I would. Yeah, right. So Stannis or Melisandre or their their uh, their evil baby, <laughs> their evil mud baby. You're thinking of the wrong Bolton. <laughs> Ramsey Bolton was the guy that oh. raped. What did you? Uh, what was the question again? Who killed Ramsey Bolton? Ramsey Bolton. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, who killed Ramsey Bolton? Oh, uh, Sansa. Yeah, I would have taken that or his dogs. Oh, but, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dogs was the answer, but, you know, I'm like, yeah, but, you know, it really was kind of, you know, Sansa let the dogs out. And she let the dogs out. Ooh, ooh. All right. Um, okay, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. But there's no reason why you can't get this one. You've been doing pretty good. Ares Targaryen. Ares Targaryen. See, now that's the one who I thought you meant before, I think. So, uh, not Viserys or whatever the fuck his name was. Mm -hmm. So, that one. Uh, now, are you throwing me this one as a last one because you know that I was going to say Eddard Stark, but it really wasn't Eddard Stark, and you really want to have one last. <laughs> but you either know this one or you don't. And if you don't know this one, when I tell you, you're going to be like, fuck, absolutely right. Mm. What was his name again? Ares Targaryen. Is Ares? That was not the Mad King. That was the Mad King. Oh, well then, yeah, we know Jamie. Jamie Lannister. Lannister. Very good. Very I'm good. See, I, you know... I, my, my Targaryen family tree is rusty. All right. I got one. I'm going to give you one more. Okay. You've done very, very good. Do you want a hard one or do you want a, you want one that's not so hard? How hard do you want this one? <laughs> Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Liza Aaron. Oh. Uh, 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 Littlefinger. Nice. Very give good, Mike. Very good. All right, so out of nine questions, you got eight of them right. Fantastic. Mike, right, cool. and now you really couldn't hear any of the sound effects, right? No, no. All right, so I'm going to play this, but I'm going to go da, 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 da. I don't know why I can't hear the sound effects. Anyway, but good job, man. Not not too shabby, my friend. Not too shabby. You know, I mean, I, I, not that you really were paying attention, and, and nor you should have been as busy as you've been, but literally – as season eight was about to start, uh, like two weeks before and through uh, season eight, I pretty much had have been binging it. Okay. So very good. Very good. I mean, I, I, I was I was primed for this. I was built for this. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, good job. Good job. All right. Let's let's do the thing. Let's finish this up. All right, everybody. Look, hey. Before I go into the closer and shit like that, um, this is the season, like I was saying before, this is the season finale, um, or mid-season finale, sorry, mid-season finale. Uh, we're not going to be back, like, in the room talking, taking live questions and bullshitting with you until the beginning of July. Um, we don't have any guests scheduled yet, but we got plenty uh, of people who have who have said that they want to come on, lots of good guests. Mm -hmm. Um some game designers we got uh some scientists and uh mike's mike and i got another live thing we're going to be doing this summer in august the first part of august where we're going to be going to lewis library we're going to record a ask a scientist panel and we're they're cool with us broadcasting it as a Mythwits episode so that'll be another one that we do a watch party with it'll be cool uh, we might like we might live stream it i don't know it's a friday maybe uh, we'll see um but yeah we got some cool stuff coming up uh, but we're going to take a break. I'm going to take a break. I, I'm, you know, it's a lot of production work we put into this. 
It is. It is. Um, and you know, I I have been pulling my my share. Yes, you uh, have. And, and it's it is it is a lot of work. Uh, if I ever knew that it was this much work, and to think that you were doing every like ninety percent of it, uh, I would have kicked my ass a long time ago. Yeah. So <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, no. <laughs> um, if I, I will say that if you are. Or have anyone that you think would be a neat uh, person that you'd like to see us interview uh, and you think that there's a, you know, snowball's chance in hell they would be willing to come on the show, whether well, you know no, that. Hold on, whoa, 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 easy now with that. We don't take just anybody. I've gotten picky. I, I, I was maybe saying, you know, people going like shooting high. You okay, know I mean? shoot like, high and if they would, yeah, okay, I got you. I'm fair, fair enough. Queen of the North. Right, yeah, right. she's a little. Yeah, no, no, no. I, the, yes, uh, we're, we're actually, you know, we're we're sh starting to shoot higher and we would like to, you know, get some input from you guys and see, you know, what kind of guests you'd like to like us to interview. You know, yep. what kind of topics in science would you guys be interested in about me personally? I was thinking about trying to find someone who maybe is a little more uh, at least apt at explaining this whole quantum theory of time travel. And how it could work because it's all theory. Mm -hmm. uh, not, I mean, not even you know what's theoretical and even hypothetical. So you know, nobody is. There is no definitive work on it. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah, and I and I want yeah, and like like Mike is saying with scientists, right? We you know that is actually the best thing that you can send our way um and i mean unless you know like a celebrity or like a big time game designer like if you're friends with monty cook and you're like i'd like to have monty cook on the show yeah great we will f I totally do that but like you know being that we like to interview like real scientists that are really like like entrenched they don't have to be famous They're like but if they're working on something that is really awesome like um uh keith we met Keith at Baltic. Well, we, we've known, we've met him before, but we were talking to Keith. He's gonna he's put me in contact with somebody who's uh, who's uh, runs or is part of the organ donor, uh, like an organ donor um, organization. And it's gonna be awesome having like if that person agrees to come on, it'd be awesome to have them on and talk about how organ donorship works. You know, mm -hmm. like because it's just I mean it's just the stuff that everybody knows about. You know, you've probably half of you watching this show have on your license that you donate organs, but I bet you almost none of you know exactly what that means. Like, how does that happen, and where do the organs go, and how do they make decisions, and you know, just all that kind of stuff, right? And that's what we do. We'll bring somebody on to talk about that stuff, and you'll learn about something that is part of everyday life. When you've used, they've used your stuff. Who was telling that story? Was it you or What's somebody that? was saying? Oh, Christ. Yeah, yeah. My mom donated her body to science and 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 the people were really thankful. And I'm just like, God, oh, that's great. All right, cool. Awesome. Yes, it's really great. And they would send me shit like every month, right? And they would like send me things like, hold on, OBS, disconnect, disconnect. And they would say stuff like, hey, thanks, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then I just, I kept getting reminded every month. Okay, OBS is, I'm sorry, if, if this jumps around or doesn't or whatever, it's because OBS, my streaming software just shit the bed and it came back on. Um, but they, you know, they kept reminding me about my mom being dead, like every month, you know, like, hey, we use the organs here and we use these skin samples there and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, and I finally contacted him and said, look, please, please stop, stop. I think it's great that you're using these organs. I mean, that, that's exactly what she wanted. And, you know, you know, Cthulhu bless you. But stop fucking calling me. I don't want to be reminded every month that my mom died, okay? Like, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> like, half her body is still alive somewhere, so, you right. know. Like, yeah, no, I don't. It, it, just do the thing. Do good stuff. Just don't tell me about it. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's that's the kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, and like I said, this midseason's done, and we'll see you again in July. But, you know, don't go anywhere Facebook-wise because – uh, we got three really fucking awesome episodes coming up. The, the, the hot wings challenge. I think we're gonna do next week. That's going to be hot yeah. ones. That is awesome. Such a good show. The reading's good. The reading was pretty good. I mean, the reading last year I thought was better, but this one was still good. Um, and then, uh, uh, the space food that we talk about what astronauts eat. Right. And Mike has been working with Denise Clemens, you know, putting together a bunch of information because there might be, a piece of text in the works on something like that, maybe. I would love to move forward on that. That would yeah. be really awesome. So that is something to be discussed. 
and uh, I think that maybe she, f- I know I felt really energized uh, ha- having walked away from that that uh, talk we gave. So yeah, so it was awesome. So if you want to learn, I mean, and there were there were tons of people in the audience that came up afterwards, and people have contacted us on Facebook and said that was such an interesting episode. That was so cool. Uh, I think I think everybody can get can get something out of that. It was really cool. All right, Mike, let's do it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, because <laughs> we'll, we're the last ones to shut the lights off and turn. <laughs> lock All up the right. Door. Every body. You've just enjoyed another awesome episode of the Myth Wits. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcast. Do you like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. And make sure to share your favorite episode on social media and help spread Myth Wits love over the entire planet. Look. Please do this. We need this. It's, you know, we work really hard on this show. Share it with your friends. It's the only way other people find out. Uh, Because I'm not spending a ton of money on advertising. I need you all to be my ambassadors of goodwill. Uh, Tweet us at MythWits and check out MythWits.com. MythWits is produced by Aether Ford's creation as part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out TSRPN.com and AetherForge.com for more cool stuff. And hey, there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. Next month, my Kickstarter goes live through TSR. Cuba Death is becoming a thing. Mythwits is create is a Creative Commons product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't change it. And don't stab a White Walker with it. It's not uh, Dragon Glass or Valyrian Steel. And he will just kill you. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. And we'll see you all next month, Mike. Queen of the North!